All right, my friends, welcome into the summer transfer window slash awards slash commercial summary slash first game of the season shaping up to be quite the exciting season, my friends. First, the, the awards. You all left all kinds of comments in terms of your player of the season. Some of you have nailed it. Machoy Diallo, 62%. That's aggressive, my friends. Um, with Ida on 22% and Maximiliano on 10%. Um, Jalo, 62% and signing of the season and young player of the season. He sweeps the awards. Goal of the season. I mean, apparently the world's his oyster. Um, our best 11 or team of the season includes Dosenia, Vipes, and Andreessen, which is interesting. Theo, Labuti, as expect, Haas, and Jalo. All, all this is kind of normal and what you would expect. Um... But my goodness, I mean, I mean, I know he had 18 assists and he's a stud. Like, I'm not disputing that, right? And he is on a 7-6-3. But, I, you know, I think Ida with 26 goals and, and 6 assists is up there too, right? Like, you could argue he was involved with 32 goals versus Machoy was involved with 22 goals. So, if you're Adam Ida, you probably feel a little hard done. Not that not that the, the kids won, you know? Like, the kid, as if Adam Ida isn't a kid as well at 23. But just the fact that, like, hey, give him the, give him the young player of the season. And you can give him signing of the season. But come on. Like, I think I deserve something out of this. twenty Or, or for at least to be closer. I don't know. That's just me. Um, looking at the transfers, you know, I I think that's fair. You know, getting 18 assists, I you know, I, I, I think it's fair that he's signing the season. I think Maximiano is probably close, um, despite, you know, only having 12 goals and five assists. Oh, you know, terrible, terrible signing, obviously. Clearly, what am I thinking? Um, so that's what's happening there. Let me hop us forward to the commercial summary, which I thought was interesting. All right, from a commercial summary standpoint, sponsorship continues to rise, my friends, which is exciting, right? 2.75 rising to 3.94. That's a hefty bump, right? We got a new Away Kit sponsor. Previous was 180. It's more than doubled to 375. Two new deals total 700 grand. Obviously, broadcast, broadcast revenues go up by a mil or so. Corporate hospitality go up. Competition prize money goes up because we didn't finish towards the bottom. Matching a commercial summary. Ida with the number 30. I just love I love, I, I love the numbering because I just auto number. So he takes the lead. Machoy gets second with the number seven. Maximiliano wearing the classic 10. Cassidy with the 53. I'm never changing that. And Haas with the 15. I just thought that was kind of interesting to show that to you from a sponsorship standpoint. You know, uh, what was it? The away kit? Yep, that was one of them. And then what? Probably this one because it's the same date would get us up to that total, something like that. One year deal. So we're improving. We're improving. Oh, I'm so excited to show you what we've done. All right, my friends, Impoli has made it back. They won Syria Bay last season, I think. Yeah, finished first. So they're popping right back up with all that money they got for having been in the league for a while, I'm sure. Um, the schedule. We need to start strong, my friends, because this is going to be brutal. This is where I think we could lose the lose the season. And that's that for you know that may seem a little out there, but I think we need to win a bunch of one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we need to win at least four of these games, um, at least four of these games, um, because we're gonna have the distraction of the Europa League. Now, do we want to do well in the Europa League? Sure, but you know. You, you get, like, what is it, 570k for a win, 190k for a draw. I mean, it, it's cool. It's cool that we're in it, but I'm more concerned with us staying in the league. The, the expectation is for us to still avoid relegation. Like, the board wasn't asking for mid-table, which means we punched above our weight last season. Based on the comments, people are like, get rid of your trash formation. Well, we only made the Europa, Europa League, my friends, and we are, like, one win away from the Champions League, so... How do you like them apples? But going back to this, right? Dynamics could take quite the turd here. If we're playing Roma, Juventus, in sandwiched in between two Europa League group stage games, Inter, and then Atalanta, who finished, I mean, only 12th, right? But like, okay, if you want to count it here, 
not easy games, right? So I'm I'm honestly super worried about October. I think the season hinges on October. Because after that, like, yeah, we get, again, why do they get them all three together? That seems just a little unfair. So it's almost like we just have to survive these groups of games and and hold on to our dynamics. That's, that's what I'm thinking as the manager. Uh, from a preseason standpoint, you can see it went well. We scored like a bunch of games. Now, we weren't playing like big names. I was mostly just trying to get us to integrate some of the new faces. I have not gone out. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know, I don't go buy seven bajillion players. I don't like doing that. I, I Hey, if you performed well from your last season and you haven't completely fallen apart physically, I'm more likely to stick with you. I have gone out and found, I'd say, two, two upgrades to certain roles, but not for starters. Um, I was looking for a starting right back or right wing back and could not find one. Now, you could argue, and I think this is probably fair, that like you're much more likely to find a right back than you are to find that wing back right back, right? Like the, the one that's in between the right wide midfielder and the defensive right back, right? You're going to find more of those than you are the one that's in between. So... That has been a challenge. There was one player that we could have gone after for what like, we were going to have to pay his, his full wages on loan for like 34000 a week. And I was just like, that's like the remaining amount of our wage budget? Nah. Nah. So, without further ado, my friends. Oh, and we have one. I, I cannot. I'm so frustrated with this. But I, 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 I want you to trust me. I want you to trust me as to what's happened here. Um, somebody came in from Labuti. I'm like, are I know he's he's on a fringe player contract, but, like, he's our starter. Maybe I should change that. I don't know. Um, we've sent Vim Mullen out on loan, my friends. Not because we wanted to, but because he was mad. He was mad that last season he wanted to go to Navarra. Um, for some reason, he wanted to go to Serie B, um, and they were interested in him. He thought it was going to be good for his development. And his contract was up at the end of the year, uh, of at, at, like, 2025. And it said... Like, I tried to extend his contract, and it was like, he's unhappy at the club because he wasn't allowed to go out on loan. And I'm like, you only you only got, you know, eight starts and nine subs in the league above the team you want to go to. What is your freaking problem, homie? Um, but I think he is a good long-term prospect, right? Like, I, I think he could be good, but we've had to loan him out to kind of appease him, um, and he wanted to go there. Now, I... You could argue it was a mistake. They've taken him on as a squad player, and I didn't dictate that he has to play wing back in either role. So I'm afraid they're just going to play him like as a no nonsense fullback, and that's going to like crush his development. We're going to end up. We're probably going to end up selling him two years from now for like 200 grand. That's probably what's going to happen if I'm being realistic. But I'm I'm kind of frustrated with him. But once we sent him out on loan, and he was there for like a couple weeks, he was willing to sign an extension. So we've gotten him an extension. So he's locked in. And not going to run his contract out. Because there was a real risk of that. And he's 19. So, like, we still got some time. But we're going to loan him out for this season. I was just sitting there going, like, dude, if you would just hang out. And you'll see that we're going to be in the Europa League. And, like, you're going to get a chance to play. What are you doing? But he wasn't having it. So, we sold Cortezzi for half of his value at 70K just to get rid of him. He he took a wage cut to go to Siena. I can't remember if we're paying any of that. It doesn't really matter. We sold DVV to uh, Chiasso. Uh, Swiss Challenge League? Yep. Um, kind of sad, but his wages were high and nobody wanted him. Um, so we sold him for a whole... A, we bought him for 13 grand, we sold him for 11 grand. I'd say, you know, even though we paid higher wages on him, we probably got some value. We, we, we got some value this season, right? We paid 13 grand for 10 goals in that season. I think that's fine. Um, a little sad, but it is what it is. Vianney, we already knew, was leaving... And then we've sold, uh, or no, we've loaned the Magnus. I, this guy just isn't going to be good enough, but his wages are so high that no one wants to buy him, even if I'm offering to pay the wages. And so we've just loaned him for like, it's like, I don't know, 30% of his wages, something like that, 1100 a week, just to try and cut down the wage budget a little bit. He wasn't going to start, he wasn't going to play for us. So I was hoping we could like flip him for profit. We're going to try and do that in the January window, or really honestly before the January window. Um, but we'll see how that shakes out um so the ends my friends you already knew we we're keeping ryan cassie and jake cooper i think those are steals to be honest with you um jake cooper on a free it says he's down to three star potential but i think with he's six foot seven 16 heading 19 jumping reach i think he's a stud a stud my friends um we've also picked up eduardo grandi because he's a grand player and gustav 
Berggren. All right, let me show you Eduardo here. We Since we got rid of Wim Wollen, um, and I'm not sure if he's going to be here a long time, we picked up this guy. Paying him 15 grand a week, because that's what we do these days, from Lazio. Um, but we paid 875. He's worth 1.9 million. We got him on a contract for three years. He's 19. He's the same age as Wim Bolen, but he knows a little bit more about this role, and he's going. He's got good potential. Potential. He could be three and a half star. He could be four and a half star. Maybe he's somewhere in between. But uh, I think he's worth it. Primarily because he knows the role. Like he's essentially he is Wim Bolen, but he's not Belgian. He's Italian. He's either footed. He's resolute. I like him. I think he's a good backup player if you look at it this way, right? He's yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I can I compare him to Ballen? So yeah, he he's an upgrade pretty much across the board except for physically. So, and they're like a month apart in age. I think he's good buy personally. That's just me. And then Gustav Bergren is our new backup goalkeeper. He only wanted seven point five k. Now they wanted a million for him because he was at, he was the I don't know if he was a prospect or a backup for Borussia Mönchengladbach. They paid 500 grand for him. They're flipping him to us. He was on loan last season, got 12 starts on a 684 in the Swedish Premier Division. Um, played for the second team the year before that, or maybe as part of that because the time frame, I don't know. Um, he's done okay, but he's got really good potential. Like, and he's happy. He didn't even want to be a cup goalkeeper. He just wanted to be a backup. I was like, ooh, because that means lower wages. He's a five-year deal, my friends. He's essentially, what we're doing here, Zvols is 26. His contract's up in 2028. Assuming that he sticks around with us and doesn't go f running off to some other team, Gustav is essentially the replacement. He's already operating at a Serie Bay level, um, and he is going to get some sort of appearances. I ideally want to play him against, you know, like once we kind of get into the season down here, like, Play him against Bologna or Cagliari or Torino or something like that to give him some some real game experience. But I think he's like so again like we haven't gone out and dropped sixteen million on one player. I just didn't feel like we needed to. Like our strikers are good. We've got a good attacking midfielder. Broadish is a decent enough backup that I didn't want to spoil that. We've got good midfielders and some up and coming like uh, Mat uh, Mateus uh, Lucchese and Rampanini are good. You know, um, up and coming players coming from our youth team. We've got now Theo on the left with a backup. Again, right back as the or right wing back as the only gap. Um, we've now got Cooper and Andreessen and uh, Moretti and Dosanya as our center backs, and we got a good goalkeeper and a good backup goalkeeper. So I'm like, I, I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, like we're dying here. Other than the right back, I'd love to have found a better right back, but they're just I. We've been searching, we just haven't found any. Um, from a Release player standpoint, Leonardi, Barba, Tristan, and Santa Polo. And then what I realized as soon as I did that, because this screen, my friends, is not telling you the truth. So just fair fair warning, because it says homegrown status. Has been trained at the club for three years between his 15th and 21st birthdays, okay? You see you've got Flacovio, Schredel, um, Lucese, Colombani, you see that, right? That's what it says. That's what it says. Nah, nah, nah. When you go to register, the only hold on, let's let's group them together here. Flacovio, one. Schradle, two, which makes sense because they've been here a long time, and then Kraus is three, but Lucese and uh, Colombani are not. Not yet. They're not yet. And so we suddenly had a problem where, like, oh, we don't have enough players that have been homegrown club trained, even though it says on the previous screen that and I'm sure someone's going to be like, oh, well, that's because you're an idiot and you didn't, you didn't realize their age and whatever. It says they've been trained at the club for three years. Like, that's what the registration rules are. It's that, That's what it says. So we've had to pull up those other guys, right? So if I go back to my screen here... um. Oh, I, I've already dropped it. I registered them and dropped it. So, Kurt Emenegger and uh, Dustin Krauss are registered, but they're not going to play, which is just ridiculous. The good news is everybody that I tend to sign is under the age of 22, and they can just come in anyway. But it's just like, really? 
Really? Oh, Paul wanted to leave? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, enter. We're like, hey, we want to see if he's available for 200 grand. I was like, uh, no. And then he was real upset. And I was like, get over it. You just got here. Okay. So he's going to have to just suck it up. And hopefully, hopefully we do all right with keeping him. We, we are training him as an advance forward. Okay. That, that is, unless it's changed back. Nope. That is the plan. That is what we're, we're going to have him work on his shooting since he's not very good at that all right now. Or maybe ball control. Anyway, um, that's how we line up, my friends. That, I, it's, it feels kind of anticlimactic, but I kind of like that, right? Like, I don't want all, like, I don't want to be Manchester United, okay? Like, with all the, the crazy ins and outs and, like, selling all the players and, you, you like, you'd think I let, would like that they have a bunch of youth players, but, like, I just want to have, like, a, a stable squad, right? So, if you look at the squad, it, oh, jeez, come on, boys, go back, you know? Compared to how we had it last last year, let's see. New faces, one starter. That's it. Everybody else, this guy's a backup. Uh, and then down here, he's got whatever what whatever it is. Uh, pulled knee ligaments is also a backup. It did say I think that he had an injury problem. So yeah, it might be it might be risky having him as the only backup left back. But you know that's how we roll sometimes. Um, everybody else, again, Dustin Krause is here for right now because this guy's injured and we, I want to try and fill out the bench a little bit. But aside from that, everybody was already here. I like that. I like that. Dynamics wise, good. Contrasting personalities, one unhappy player, but you know, yeah, he's disappointed not to be able to join Inter. Well, mate, we're going to get you some Europa League. All right. So why don't you get over yourself? Okay. Okay, Paul. Thanks for your support on Patreon, Paul, but come on, man. Can you just not do that um so this is our ridiculous formation that worked last season we also are working on a four one four one or four three three or four one two three however you would like to call it um because i do have a promise to uh, diaz that will play him as an inverted winger so i'm a little concerned about that the other thing is jake cooper i guess uh England must have left the European Union because he's apparently a non-EU player, which I wasn't expecting. Wants me to play him in his preferred role, which I don't remember agreeing to. <laughs> Maybe there's something on a previous episode and one of you is going to be able to go back and find it, but I don't remember doing that. Um, and I can't find what his preferred role is. And I know there's a way to do it, but it's like, you know what? If we start winning games, get over yourself. That's, that's how I feel. Honestly, that's how I feel. Um, so yeah. Uh, we're also going to have the Europa League draw. I can't remember if I mentioned that at the end of the episode. So stay tuned, my friends. Let's let's go. Let's go. Impoli's manager doesn't like us, which I think is kind of funny. Um, probably because we had some tiffs and then he went down and we didn't. So maybe maybe he's unhappy because, you know, we didn't get relegated and they did. Maybe that's that's why. 5-2-1-2, two, two, my friends. Again, we scored a bunch of goals against subpar competition in friendlies, but that doesn't mean anything. No one wants to impress me. You've all been here. I guess they're all like, impress you. I'm a starter. <laughs> I've already impressed you. Um, yeah, he's he's good. Let's, well, we don't need the table just yet. I Oh, ah, shoot. Uh, highlight glitch there. Leg goes, then ball goes. It's a good time. Theo is on the wrong side of the pitch. I probably should set up something with uh, set pieces to get Cooper forward since he is six foot seven. I'll probably do that after this episode if I remember. Don't worry, I know you're typing. You're not going to remember. Um, the board... I didn't show the awards, did I? Let's just... Now that we scored in the first three minutes... Hello. Um, I do have some notes on some awards, and then I want to show you the board. So, my notes here. Um, Jalo won Serie A Player of the Year. Clean sweep of the awards, my friends. Um, Adam Ida, striker of the year. What's interesting, um, because I told you I had the preseason bug like in December of the previous season, the voting only had the top person in each category. So I don't know if that's a normal Serie A thing or not. Let me know in the comments if you've played in Serie A. Is there normally like three spots? Like, you know, best striker and then the other two players in voting? Because that's what I'm used to. Didn't get that. Or maybe it was just unanimous that he was amazing, which I don't really blame people for. Um, he won the golden boot for Serie A, or, or was it Europe? 
let's check. Um, let's check that actually. I remember, oh, that's, oh, that's not, that's not what we wanted, is it? There, it gets us there, it gets us, nope, not the golden boy. The golden shoe slash boot. Adam Ido with 26 goals beats out Kylian Mbappe. Are you serious? 37 appearances, 26 goals. 38 appearances, 24 goals. One less appearance, two more goals. How do you like them apples, Kylian? Huh? 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 That's pr I was pretty excited about that. Um, Club Vision, they want us to, again, play counterattacking football, and now they've added entertaining football, and I could not get rid of it. I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that means lots of clear cut chances and lots of goals scored rather than like sitting back and playing defensive like they wanted the previous season. But I would like a little bit more. Like, what does that mean? That's not enough. Like that little dot with the eye is not enough information. Like, can you give me an example of what that means? You know, they want us to avoid relegation. They want us to be competitive in the, in the Europa league and the Coppa Italian. So like, Really low bar of expectations. We have gotten, my friends, improved training facilities. Um, I've already had the coaching course that was last season. We've got them to agree to improve youth recruitment and junior coaching, and we're working on the youth facilities. So clean sweep of asking. I did have to push on one of them. I think it was like the youth recruitment. It's like, really? Like, really? You gonna We're going to argue about that? Like, come on, lads. Um, but what's exciting about that, right? If you come over here to the the facilities right from there we should have great training facilities and good youth facilities and now we've got excellent academy coaching and youth recruitment like we're really bu building a juggernaut right like so hopefully we don't have to go out and spend as much in the transfer market right like because we're going to be building them building up those players internally that's what's exciting to me is like we're, we're we're generating a lot of cash flow and we're paying a lot of money to our directors and a lot of money in taxes we're financial fair play good, you know, because we're worried about that because we're Europa League now. Um, and we're, we're plugging away. Whether we make the Europa League this year or not, board doesn't care. And we're still reinvesting money into the club. So we're like, it's not about the Europa League just this year, right? It's more about building this club up for the future. So it, this is kind of funny because it reminds me a little bit of the Cabin Tealy save, except obviously Cabin Tealy was a much bigger project from a continental competition and like the facilities weren't great the, the thing i've really loved about this board that's been really useful i haven't shown you all this is like when i've had a coach um that i need to get uh like their next coaching badge like yeah like they've said yes to almost everything that i have only had to push a little bit on the training facilities was that last season or maybe the season before and then like the youth recruitment this time so like the rest of the time they're like yeah sure like that makes sense and like we're making so much money and our wage budget isn't out of control that it's not like Ooh, if we go spend seven million on training facilities, that uh, that's gonna that's gonna impact our ability to, you know, stay out of debt, right? So, it's just it's weird having like a uh, a board that's like on the same page. You're like, yeah, go right ahead. It's freaking great. Uh, we we just scored our second goal. While I was rambling there, and Vipes picked up a yellow. So let's go have a little. Probably should have had the chat already with him. I'm 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 curious now. Did I tell Cooper? And I'd play him in a no-nonsense. I don't think I would have done that. I don't think I would have put him on the cover role. Because he's definitely more of a defend, like central defender on defend versus cover. So maybe it's... Because when I played Diaz in the friendlies and we went to that 4-3-3 three, three with a DM, whatever you want to call it. I played him as an inverted winger. His promises thing changed to be like, he's happy to be getting games in his promise role. Even though they're friendlies. Um, which I didn't think was the case, but... He was unhappy at the end of last season. Now it's said that like he understands because he's had injuries and whatever. I'm just like, well, that's, I don't know. I, I'm not, a, you would imagine you're like, oh, you play football manager all the time on your channel. You're an expert. No, no, like that's not, that's not why I play. I don't want to like, you know, I've gotten comments before. It's like, if you do X, Y, and Z, then Q happens every single time. I'm like, well, that's not fun, right? Like having Tom Schradle, I should have loaned out Tom Schradle, but Tom Schradle is a patron. Man, like, I want to have him in the team. I don't want to play perfectly. That's no fun. Um, let's let's not lose our focus, lads. Let's not get so sent off. Oh, no. Click the wrong button. I hate that. I wish there was a... Are you sure you want to say that? We And we picked up an early yellow from Theo. Now we got three on the pitch. That's probably not good. We can't take Theo off because his backup is, is injured. I mean, we could go to, like, the fourth back and, and whatever... That's poor. We need a new right back. 
it's like stuff like Abraham. Maybe I should have paid the 34 grand <laughs> loan fee, but I'm like 34 grand loan fee when you don't even own the player seems just aggressive. Um, and to buy him, it was going to be like the, the range is my one of my favorite things. It's like the range that they're going to want is 18 to 50 million. It's like, what? like that's not a range. <laughs> like throw a dart, we'll pick a number. Like what is that? Um, and so it was going to be. I figured it, it, it was already. I think I think we had 16 or seven, 16 million to start. Oh, that was a that was a monster goal. Um. It would have already been above our transfer budget. But I was, I figured it wouldn't have even been close. And then I would have felt like next season, oh, wow, well, we spent 34000 a week on a player and he's not even here, right? Like, if I'm going to do that, I want the player to stick around. That's just me. Oh, that's not our Dosenia. I'm like, wait a what, what, what? How did that happen? Theo, what you got, mate? You've got a glitchy highlight. Oh, back into the mixer. Nicholas Haas? Unexpected brace, I think you could say. For Nicholas Haas to be our leading goal scorer 64 f minutes and 45 seconds into the season. But you know what? You get it in the mixer. Good things happen. Slides in. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. Off you go. All right. All right. Now with a... Mm, mm. Okay. 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 Oh, we can't take Haas off. He's... Uh, the guy... The, the guys with the yellows are our, by far, best performers. That's a tad curious. Oh, 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 also into the mixer. Finally cleared. Ida comes and collects it right in front of me. I'm like, come on. What? I, why would I not be gesticulating and screaming at him? Like, he just kind of stood on the ball and waited for a, a good three seconds there, which seems like not much, but it was a long time to go like, oh, let's do something. Oh, this is lovely worked. Oh, this is, oh, this is good. Oh, except, except the, the end product wasn't. And now Al Capone leads the, leads the charge. I think we got rid of our Capone, or maybe maybe he's still in the under twenties. I'm not sure. Good sliding tackle by Andreessen. Nice job, sir. Um, it's not that players are playing poorly; they're just not playing amazing. I'm gonna regret doing this, but do I change it? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I don't think I change anything. Or actually, hold on. <laughs> What's our next game? I know this is ridiculous. I'm already thinking about this. Four days later. Yeah, we might take off a, a striker. Yeah. I think we do that. I think that's a smart thing to do. Let's bring on... Do we do it? Do we do it with Paul? Paul Columbani is going to come on. He doesn't know anything about the false nine. So we're going to have to tell him um, to not switch... Paul Colomani. I think this is his debut. I think. Don't switch. Sometimes this gets a little weird. So you gotta, gotta make sure it says don't switch. We're gonna bring him on. Now if they score off this highlight, I gotta keep my, my, my finger on the pulse up here so I can hit cancel. I'm just gonna go straight to cancel if they score. Haas pings it out. Labuti can't... Oh! Oh, he fights for it. I like it. Ida takes a crack. It's blocked. Falls back, though. Oh, I thought that was going to dribble in. Theo, reset. Chips it back in. Ryan Cassidy. Haas. Oh, I thought Haas was going to take a... What, what is this like working under the box, lads? Take a shot. Do something. Goodness gracious. Okay. All right. Labuti has bounced back a little bit. Hold on. I, I got to, like, pause and see what's happening here and think about it. Okay. You know what? You know what, lads? We're going to bring on... We're going to bring on Brodich. My thinking here is, if they score, we can move him up to Ryan Cassidy's spot and bring on the DM. He's a versatile player for us. We like to see it. We like to see it. Okay, 88th minute. We're going to keep going here until we're into extra time. Yeah, I know this is crazy, uh, but I'm crazy, I guess. I'm a crazy... I'm a crazy man. I'm a crazy man. Um... We're going to need you next game. Tom Schradle, come on down, sir. I like that Tom knows anywhere in the back line. He can play right back, left back, or center back. He's definitely more of a natural center back, but that's poor right there. 
Come on, Ruff, go ahead and blow one. Come on, Ruff, go on. Jurich? Jurichich? Jurichich? Vipes? Kind of not a great clearance, but it does get it to Labuta who just pings it. I like that. We didn't retain possession. It doesn't really matter. Just get rid, son. Okay, referee. I mean, I know he he apparently was watching his watch when we uh, when we did that. All right, three one, three one. Way to go! Off to a winning start. I'm not understanding how Haas is the goal scorers, but you know, not complaining, not complaining. We're top of the table temporarily, temporarily, my friends. All right, I'm gonna hop us forward until the August thirty first, which is after the Spa game, because that's when the Europa League draw is. Let's go find out who we're playing. All right, my friends, we lost to Spa. The board wants entertaining football. I hope they're pleased. Five goals in the first half. Their last goal was Adam Ida coming coming deep and like back passing to our keeper and not putting enough on it. So it was one of those things where they jumped on it. I was kind of disappointed we didn't react after that. Like both teams like going back and forth. It was an entertaining game. So they surely, surely, I didn't check. Yes, they're very pleased. They're very pleased that we lost, but it was entertaining, I guess. Um, let's get more entertaining. Let's go to the draw. I like that when you do that, but the draw happens, all of a sudden it disappears from your calendar. And you're like, what just happened, right? Let's view the draw. All right, where are we? Where are we? We are probably way down here. We are in the third seed bucket. We are the bottom. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Okay. But you know what? Let's just let's just draw all the teams. Shakhtar, Leicester, Fehevar. Hungarian team? I mean, it could have been worse. I think you could argue it could have been worse. Maybe? I don't know what to make of... I mean, they got four-star reputation. Obviously, Leicester's going to have four-star. And this team's got three-star. So, we're in a battle, my friends. Does it have the game? No, let's hop forward one day. Let, let, let's process to see what our first game is, because that's what we're going to come back for next. It's like, that's going to be... That's going to be next. All right, we take on, oh, of course, Lester. All right, lads, we'll see you then. Hit the like button. I'm really disappointed in this ball. Again, I think we have to win games here before before this. That's going to be difficult. So at least the second game here in between is the team you would imagine is on, on par with us or worse, right, versus, you know, Lester there. But still, ugh. All right, see you then. Bye.